Hey, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another Turn Back Tuesday hockey break. One that I am absolutely digging and just ready for this because uh, this is such a cool product. Let's just get into it real quick uh, and talk here. So my best card that I've ever pulled, I've shown it on here a few times guys, but the best card I've ever pulled growing up, uh, maybe not completely now with all the product I broke here in the last few years, but uh, as a kid and stuff like that growing up, the best card I ever pulled was from 1998-99 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. And this is it right there, guys. The Wayne Gretzky game jersey uh, auto card there, hand numbered out of 99. I mean, that's just such a sick, sick card. Um, and again, guys, I pulled that out of 98-99 Upper Deck Series 2. I pulled that out of a hobby pack, uh, one single hobby pack. Uh, incredible luck there. Very, very valuable card. Um, and kind of the big rookie, if you can't tell on either side of Wayne there, and I'm going to show you one up, up close here. Marty St. Louis is one of the, well, he's actually the biggest rookie that you can pull from 98-99 Series 2. Uh, they're in his Flames uniform there. Um, it's pretty crazy, though. And what I will tell you guys, that's card number 234, if you're wondering, as I throw him up here to join the others. Because today we're going to do... A nice sealed hobby box of 98.99 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. And uh, before I get into this, I want to just tell you guys very briefly and very quickly, I got a heck, a heck, a heck of a deal on this. Um, I, honestly, I, I think I paid, I'm not even joking, guys, get ready for this, especially in today's market. I paid less than $40 a box US uh, for these hobby boxes. And I initially, I picked up six of them. And I was just a little bit concerned. I'm like, you know, are the cards going to be like, is there something up with the cards, basically? So, uh, you know, I wanted to get the six in. And I opened three boxes so far off camera. This is the first box on camera I'm doing. Um, but I opened the boxes off camera. They've been great. There's a little bit of brickage, but, you know, it's to be expected in this product. Cards have been great, though. And I've gotten some really awesome pulls out of the first three boxes. So not only uh, did I have that initial six hobby boxes, I went back and I bought them out. I actually bought another 15 hobby boxes. Uh, that's what they had left. So uh, a total of 20 of these hobby boxes in total I'm going to be opening. Um, I'll try to do as much as I can on camera, but honestly I'm having a lot of fun with my son, uh, Connor, and we're breaking these on our Saturday nights like, where we kind of stay up late together and stuff like that. He's having a blast breaking these open with me, so I did the first three with him. Uh, but we're going to do this for a Turn Back Tuesday here, and I'll definitely have some more for you guys on the channel but uh and actually these marty st louis rookies one per box i mean honestly they don't guarantee that but i'm telling you guys i got one in each box i got uh you know really good luck in, in these boxes here let me just kind of get this out of the way here peel this off i'll show you guys kind of what's what on this after the cellophane's off there it's basically about the back here is a whole bunch of gibberish you don't really need to see it's about a contest they had nhl face off 99 that they advertise here that you can kind of win some things and you know whatever um you'll see that we can spell out letters in here we'll probably spell out the nhl and face off i've yet to get the card that has 99 on it though out of the other three boxes so i assume that was the harder to get card but uh the other kind of big subset that they're advertising here with being 1999 you know they're advertising as the year of the great one 99 wayne gretzky so you're gonna find a few of these uh year of the great ones in here uh, probably at least one of them will be a die cut and numbered. I've gotten that out of each box. A game jersey card as I open this up here and just show you guys what's going on in here. Set these back here. Kind of open it like this. I'm going to pull out a whole stack first. Set that here. And they do have odds on the packs. Uh, so there you go. A little bit of odds. I mean, it's not crazy, but if you want to pause and check that out, there you go. But, uh, yeah, the deal with these, um, other than a little bit of, like I said, brickage that we'll have to deal with, gotten some really good pulls. Uh, I've gotten some game jersey cards out of here. I got a Joe Noondike out of, I think, the first box I opened to this. Um, quite a few of these uh, numbered cards, the numbered die-cut cards of, uh, you know, the year of the great one. Some nice profile cards. Um, I can't even remember what else. And like I said, I've gotten in every box. Marty St. Louis, who's the biggest rookie. And, and how about this, guys? For paying under... $40 a hobby box of this, which you're getting 24 packs. And how about one of my boxes that I opened already had 25 packs, no less. Um, but anyway, guys, the PSA 10, last PSA 10 of Marty St. Louis, or at least one of the last ones, because I don't know when I'm going to debut this video, 
Sold for over $400, almost $500 for a PSA 10 Marty St. Louis rookie card. So that's just blowing my mind, you know. And, and like I said, uh, you, it seems that you're pretty much guaranteed one per hobby box, uh, at least based on my first three boxes that I opened. So, you know, honestly, uh, it, it's just crazy what you can get here. The value is definitely there. Um, and the brickage isn't even that bad in this first one. So we'll see how many cards need to go to the card chiropractor. But uh, it's a good start right now. The other big rookie I'll tell you guys very briefly is Milan Hayduk. He's probably the uh, number two for sure. But there's some other decent ones in here, but that's the top two. So Dale Hunter starts us off. Igor Larionov. It's going to be hard to show a lot of these because of the shine and stuff like that. Um, and I don't want this to turn into an insanely long break. So Ziggy Palfi. Richard uh, Matichuk. Travis Green. Behind there, we got uh, Colin Forbes. And if the names don't focus, guys, just trust me what the names are. I'm not going to waste too much time on these. Stevie Thomas, J.S. Uh, Aubin. Or, uh, yeah, J.S. Aubin, Jim Sebastian Aubin, Pavel Cabina. Last but not least, it's a base pack, but uh, Blair at the Chainum. Honestly, guys, I probably butchered that name, but that's one I don't remember calling at all back in the day. Profiles card is in here. So normally uh, you will find that the kind of insert of each pack, other than the Year of the Great one, um, which tends to be in the middle of the pack, I've noticed that all the other inserts are towards the bottom of the pack. Uh, in all honesty, yeah, a little bit of stickage, but nothing bad. Give it a little short adjustment there. All right, right back to it. So we got Ray Shepard to start us off, uh, Saku Koivu, Brian Leach, uh, Ryan Smith, and there's one of those letters I was talking about. We'll come across quite a few of those. There's the H in the NHL faceoff. That was the promo. Like I said, it's not really worth getting into that, and I can show you, but I'm not going to waste your time. We can spell probably NHL faceoff here. Sean Brown, my prediction, like I said, is uh, that we're not going to have the 99 card. Yui Krupp, we're going to get a few of these program excellence cards in here, but there's not any really big ones per se. Rory McDade is going to be that one. Um, and Peter Forsberg is a profile, so there's our profile subset. We'll probably wind up with a couple of these profile cards. And you can get those numbered. I've gotten a few of these numbered out of here. I mean, uh, here's a little bit of breakage here. For 40 bucks, well, actually less than 40 bucks, uh, you can't beat it. We did get one of those Year of the Great ones in here. It doesn't look die cut, so it's going to be a base. Andrew Castle, Sandus Ozelinch, Stevie Eiserman there. Uh, Tony Amane, I'm not going to even flip that over. And there's our Year of the Great one. I think there's it's either 20 or 30 cards in that subset, so we're going to come across a couple of these. That's not numbered. Like I said, you'll you'll know the numbering will be on the front. Uh, is that Joseph Mra? Stefan Fassett. Flip it around real quick. Dennis Peterson, John McLean, and Terry Yecky. All right, and if I have any brickage, guys, um, because some of the a couple of the boxes I had a lot of brickage in, you know, where I had to do a lot of adjusting and stuff like that. Um, if I come across those kind of packs, what I'll do, I did another video to kind of save some time because I don't have the time to really edit these out too, too much, and I'm not the best with editing. Uh, what I'll do, and this one other than the last one is one of those examples, so I'll take it off camera, give it the little adjustment I need to, make sure the cards are you know, not stuck together and ready to go. But I'm going to pause uh, the video and stuff. You guys probably won't even notice a real change, but uh, that'll just save on time of the video. So Keith Primo, uh, Shane Donovan. One of those NHL face-off cards is obviously coming up here. Mike Richter, Byron Defoe, and there's the N in the face-off. Flip that around. Yerslov, yep, Scott Hannon, uh, Ryan Johnson, and last but not least is, I don't know, actually we got a little bit of stickage there. I didn't realize it. Normally I just fly through, but like I said, the uh, that Marty St. Louis is a pretty big card in a PSA 10 form. Uh, Ross Lupachuk is going to be our Program of Excellence POE card there. All right, I'm going to try and pick up the pace a little bit now that you guys have kind of been introduced to, uh, you know, this this series and you see what's what. Vacheslav Kozlov starts us off. Uh, Radek Dvorak, Joe Sakic, Theo Fleury. And do a little card flip here for Vaklov Prospel. Greg Johnson. Oh, he's a little bit stuck, too. I was hoping it wasn't going to be this bad. Jamie Wright, Ty Jones. The last one was Thomas Caberlet. And we had in between there, Garmon Titov for the old pens. All right.
And I'm trying to do it with a little bit of speed for you guys because I know you don't want this to be terribly long. I don't either. But at the same time, I want to be careful because uh, that Marty St. Louis, I really, when we come to it, I don't want it to be dinged up, especially if it's a center card and stuff or has any shot at a PSA 10. I want to keep it that way. So Greg Adams, Matthew Barnaby, uh, Chris Terrian, and that was actually with Alexander McGillney. There's the F in NHL faceoff. Flip that around for uh, Andreas Backel, Sebastian Bordelo, Antti Loskinen, Matt Hare, and Marty Reisner. All right, stack two. Like I said, I am going to try. Try, try, try to pick up the pace here. But also not to damage the cards. All right, brick, pause. All right, we're back. And that was a serious brick, guys. I saved a lot of time there, believe me. Donald Audette. Kyle McLaren, Pat Verbeek, Shane Corson. We got one of those Generation Next cards, so that's a subset in here you will find as well. Probably find one or two of these. Ty Jones on the one side, and on the next side, Brendan Shanahan. So there you go. Like I said, we will have a couple of those probably in here. Jamie McLennan, Sergey Breland. Oh, boom. Didn't even see that coming. Look at that. There we go, guys. Like I said, probably going to get one in the box. And there it is, Marty St. Louis. There is the rookie card there. Once again, guys, in a PSA 10, which I can tell you that is not centered left to right there. It's going to be a little bit off. But a PSA 10 of these, four to $500 in recent sales on eBay. So that uh, is pretty cool, pretty cool. So we'll set that aside. Still going to sleeve it up for sure afterwards. Um, and obviously with 20 boxes of this, I'm going to have, I believe, you know, if things continue the way they are, I believe I'm going to have... Probably 20 Marty St. Louis rookie cards. And I already had a couple in the PC, so I'll be up to 20 some of those most likely. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go over those with a little bit of a fine-tooth comb afterwards and see if we can send some of those off to PSA for uh, grading and hopefully get a PSA 10 on one of those returns uh, and display it for you guys here in the future. All right, guys. So Dean McCammon starts us off. Larry Murphy, former Penn there. Grant Fuhrer. Jeff Bukaboom. We got the C here in the NHL face off that time. Uh, definitely a little bit of surface loss here. I'm really noticing here. I hadn't noticed that in the other boxes, but uh, yeah, for sure we got some some paper loss here on the surface, and you can actually see it even in his pants there. Um, but anyway, Mike Manulek, uh Johnny Cohen, Vadim, uh, yep. Rico Fat, another former pen there, Calder Cup nominee, and a profile of Marty Brodeur. So there you go. So, yeah, that uh, honestly, guys, in the other three boxes, paper loss was not an issue. That is a first for me here. And so, some serious breakage again. Let's pause it. All right, guys, we're back. Oh, and Nolan. Uh, looks like a uh, one of those year of the great one here coming up. Tommy Salo. No die cut, though. Chris Draper. Vlad. And there you go. Another year of the great one. And actually, that looks like that has some paper loss as well. You, go, you can see that surface there. Feels a little grainy, so that's not too cool here. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, guys. I mean, still for the value. I'd, I'd probably still buy this all day long for less than 40 bucks. Um it is a shame, though, to have that, uh, the paper loss. It seems to be a trend in this box. I'm, I'm telling you guys, it just, the other three boxes, I did not have this issue. So, you know, I don't know, just a little bit of bad luck here. Nice Wayne Gretzky to start, but I can feel it's a brick, so give me a sec. All right, guys, and we are back. So, Wayne Gretzky. I'm not sure if that's the checklist or the base card, because they're both found in this one. It's a checklist one. So, there you go. You can see the paper loss even on the back there if you look up there by Gretzky especially. So, yeah, it is what it is. Guy Bear, heck of a guy. I uh, got a few of his autographs on the day. He was a guy you could mail your cards to, he'd sign it, and send it back, which was always really cool. And there's our first numbered card there. It is a die cut. Uh, you're the great one. Like I said, we're going to get uh, one or two of those probably. Out of 1999, which is the most common of these other than the base one, um, I've gotten pretty much all 1999s. I do know, though, that you can get these down to, I think, 100 um, and maybe 500 or something like that. But uh, I've not gotten any of those yet. That's just according to Beckett. Ian Herdina. I see we got a POE in the back again. Wendell Clark, J.J. Daniel, Ronnie Francis, and our POE is Chris Beach. So there you go. All right. 
still going to be looking to probably pull the uh, Milan Haydu rookie card here. Give me a sec. That's a definite brick. Yeah, all right, guys, we're back. And as I was saying there, as we start with Eric Lindros, uh, looking for that Milan Hayduk, the second best rookie you can pull out of here. I anticipate probably pulling one of those out of here. Uh, looks like it's probably going to have some surface damage, as this is uh, the theme of this box, it would appear. Nothing really doing in there, just a base pack. But, uh, yeah, I can tell you guys, it's weird. I have no idea the value on the Milan Hayduk as far as a PSA version would go. Um, so the thing is, the Milan Hayduk has a Beckett high value of $2.50. The Marty St. Louis has a Beckett high value of $12. Um, and as I kind of talk to you guys and adjust this off camera, uh, you guys can see what happens with that Marty St. Louis. You get that in a PSA 10. It goes from $12, apparently, to Beckett. Uh, that is all the way up to four or $500. And honestly, with the card prices today, it's just going to keep going up, I would assume. You guys can probably even hear these cards. It's just horrible. That's why we have paper loss going on here. The brickage is really, really bad in this one. Um, it, it's just bad stuff. But uh, the Milan Hayduk, though, guys, I, I couldn't find. I can find some sold ones for a few bucks a piece raw on eBay. But as far as PSA grading and stuff like that goes, I couldn't find any of them listed on eBay at the time of this video. And I cannot find any of them sold either on eBay. So I'm not sure if it's a low to no pop. Honestly, I didn't do a pop report or anything on PSA. But uh, I assume it is obviously pretty low. But I have no idea the value uh, in a PSA 10 form. But I can you know, just go out on a limb, especially if it's a low pop. And let's be honest, you know, the Marty St. Louis, yeah, it's about $10 more for the the base card, but in the PSA 10, uh, you know, $500, it's, it's just insane. No, uh, Taylor Pyatt is going to be our POE. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it could be a several hundred dollar card, honestly. I, I just, I don't know, guys. Um, so that's probably one thing I will look at on my own here. I'll probably go through these and we got another Wayne Gretzky. I'll probably go through these afterwards, uh, looking for, through my Milan Haydukes, and this one's not really badly bricks. So I'm not going to pause it, but, uh, Take a look through my Milan Haydukes and see if I can find a nice one that's worth sending off to PSA. Maybe get a, hopefully a 10 on it and you know, see what the pop is and stuff. But there is a Wayne Gretzky. It's in our checklist card there. Okay, Bear. So we're seeing some of the same cards. Um, I've not gotten doubles of any of the two big rookies in any of the boxes I've opened so far. That would be pretty cool to pull you know, an additional um, rookie of one of the two kind of bigger ones and stuff here. Phil Housley's that last card there. Still, like I said, no meal on Hey Duke, though. I do think we will pull it, though. Looking for another numbered card or jersey card or something like that. And this one's actually not too bad either. No need to pause it here. The brickage is really not too much there. So Darren Poopa starts us off. Stewie Barnes loved him as a pen. Bobby Holik. Scary Gary Roberts obviously loved him as a pen as well, even though he's not in that uniform there. Uh, Andrew Burnett. Flip that around. Jason Burrell, former Penn's assistant GM, former Buffalo GM. Roman Noir, Matt Cook. You guys know his history probably in Pittsburgh. You guys probably hated him. Peter Reynolds, POE. Yeah, let's see if this is... I can't tell. No, it's actually not badly brick, so no need for a pause again. Uh, not too bad. Like I said, I'm going to try and keep the... Pause on this to a minimum if, if it's not necessary. So Jocelyn Tebow, Mike Madonna. I'm not going to flip all these around. Jeff Cortnall. JR, Jeremy Roenick. We got a year of the great one again. Gretz. Another cool pitcher there. And his Rangers uniform. Quite a bit of them in the Rangers uniform here. Jamie Rivers. Steve du Duchesne. Ramua. Jan Copa. And Mike LeClerc. Like I said, guys, I know it's not the easiest to see uh, the names and stuff with the fonts and the glare and all that stuff like that. I'm trying my best, but uh, it is a fun product. I'll tell you to break on your own. It's just, I guess, not the best for on camera. But if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Like I said, I have a total of 20 boxes of this. So Wade Redden, Brad May, Todd Harvey, Matt Sundin, and there's our F in the faceoff. Darren McCarty, uh, Jonathan, uh, Mike... Nubel, Nolan Bumgarner, and a POE of Jonathan Zion. So, still no Milan Hayduke. We'll see if it comes. 
Maybe this will break the trend and we won't have one, but I'm going to say that we will. We'll see. All right, Rod Brendan Moore starts us off. Scott Mellonby, uh, Alexei Zamnoff, Glenn Murray. I thought he was stuck. Jumbo Joe. I'll turn that around and show you guys very early in his career. That's not his rookie card, but doggone close to it. Jumbo Joe there very early in his career. Michael Hanzus. Zarly Zalapski, another former pen. Craig Janney. Uh, Pierce Accor, another former pen. That's, of course, way before his time with pens. Matthias Nordstrom. All right, last pack in this stack, and then we got one last stack to go. Vinny LeCavalier, I see, is going to be coming up in here, and I will tell you that's going to be a Calder uh, candidate card. It should be. Um, and that is not his rookie. Those rookies found in uh, 97 98. Miro Chatan, another former pen. Danny Alfredson. Dallas Drake. Marty Straka. And there's the L in the face off this time. Oh, flip that around here, I guess. Patrick Cote. Tom Pody. There we go. There's Milan Hayduke right there. So. Figured we were going to get one, and we did get it. And you know what? It's not uh, centering and stuff. doesn't look too bad. Maybe slightly off left to right, but I don't know. I'll have to take a closer look at this after. But the card, pretty crisp. Eh, maybe not so much in the back. A little bit of paper loss maybe on the, around the edges there. Um, like I said, I didn't have the biggest hope with this box the way it was going. But still, Milan Hayduke, rookie card there, Avs fans. All right, Mike Ruchinski. And the last but not least is that Vinny Cavalier Calder Canada card. Uh, you guys can see that seal up there that shows you it's that. All right, guys, last little stack. I'll pull that out, set this here, move the box. Hopefully get lucky, get a G game jersey card. I would really love to pull another Gretzky game jersey. That would just be insane. I know it's the odds are definitely not there, but uh, that would just be really cool. The other big get, I didn't tell you guys, maybe from the beginning, uh, Bobby Orr. You can get that same card there, the Wayne Gretzky and Bobby Orr. And I want to say the numbering's like out of five. It's just insanely insanely hard to get but uh i mean i guess it can be done you know and that would be obviously just insanely cool robert Svela, valeri kaminsky bill mucka brent johnson and i actually think that is his rookie card as well and it is yep there you go brent johnson rookie card there former pens goaltender for a cup of tea terry ryan and uh Yaro Spachek. and actually Yaro Spachek was stuck too Thomas Caberly again, so there you go. POE on the back here. Nobody big though. Curtis, Curtis Foster. I'm not trying to downplay him, but it's yeah, no, no really big POEs in here. Um, you can look at the checklist for yourself, but it's nothing. Definitely nothing crazy as far as who you can pull in POEs in this. Yeah, all right. So Ted Donato uh, starts us off, making sure he wasn't stuck there. Doug Brown. Here's Wayne Gretzky. It's not the checklist. That is his uh, base card there. Show you guys that real close and real quick. I, don't know, I take that completely back. I'll be darn. It is another checklist card. Shoot. I thought I had this down by now with opening three boxes of this, but apparently not. So uh, Rick Tockett there, former pen with a lot of uh, surface issues there. The F and face off. A little bit of slight stickage that I did not notice when I was getting this open. Uh, Sebastian Borlo, uh, Anti Lapse, and then Matt Hurt, and there's that Curtis Foster POE. All right, four packs to go, guys. Let's see if we're going to get lucky or not. Oh, that one. Did you hear that? Uh, holy heck, I should just make videos doing the card chiropractic adjustments here. A lot of people just do those chiropractic videos. Uh, I would just do that, let people hear those cracks. Holy crap. That was pretty serious in that pack. Um, and I know I should have paused this, guys, but there we go. It was so close that it just wasn't worth it. Marcus Naslin, one of the worst Pens trades in history. Look that up in the uh, 90s there for Alex Doyanov. Chad Kilger, Steve Ruchin. Uh, another year of the great one coming up, not numbered, though. Darren Hatcher hated him as a Pens fan. There is that year of the great one, not numbered, like I said, or anything like that. Quite a bit of the doubles. The Brent Johnson uh, rookie again. Be nice to hit one of the big rookies, though. Here's Spachek and uh, Yaki Loom. Pewey again at the end of this one, I see. And that's going to be a Derek McKenzie. It's a lot easier to show you that than trying to show you the kind of foil from the front. 
Uh, but Derek McKenzie is going to be that name there at the end of that one. Let's see, yeah, no need for a pause. Slight stickage, but nothing crazy, guys. All right, let's get into it. So Scott Niedermeyer starts us off. Kevin Hatcher, we'll have Tim a lot as a Penn's defenseman there. Felix Potvin, Igor, and there's our O and face off. Billy Ranford, D uh, Dmitry Nabokov, Sergey Fedorov, Johan Davidson, and there's that POE that we talked about, Derek McKenzie. Two packs to go. And there's our chiropractic adjustment. You always want to make sure that you don't have a, uh, a jersey card or something like that, so look for something thick before you just go. I mean, I'm not exactly bending the cards. I'm just trying to give them a little bit of a flex to get them broke apart so we can get through them. But you don't want to do that with a jersey card. You want to use a heck of a lot more uh, precautions and stuff. So Kyle Johansson, uh, Jeff Friesen, uh, Shujan Podin, boy, don't remember him at all. Rob Blake, Todd Marchant, uh, Sergey, Daniel Markov, Chris Terreri, looks like a base pack. Ken Reggett, former Penn's goaltender there, and Frederick Lindquist. Last pack, hoping for something decent, uh, but uh, no, no jersey card. At least I don't think. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Listen for that chiropractic adjustment. Last one, guys. Oh, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> it's interesting and stuff doing that with these cards. Uh, if there was the chance of something insanely valuable in here, I'd obviously use a lot more precaution. But I don't think we're going to pull another Marty St. Louis, and that's by far the most valuable card here other than, you know, a special insert. Uh, Patrice Breezebaugh. Kenny Johnson. Come on, come on. Martin Jonas, uh, Sergey Zuboff, another former Penn's defenseman. The E in uh, face-off, so that's our last one of those letters, so no 99 like I figured. Marion uh, Cesar, or Cesar, Chad Brown, Remy Royer, Mark Parrish, and our last but not least one, it's a cool-looking pitcher, this POE of Christoph uh, Wachowski. Pretty cool-looking pitcher, I will give him that. So, yeah, guys, I mean, I'm not going to recap everything on here. Uh, our two big rookies, we hit them both as I figured we would. Milan Hayduk, uh, Marty St. Louis. And our one and only number card in here. It was probably the head of the box more than anything, I guess, other than the rookies. Uh, the year the great one, die cut out of 1999 there. So, you know, like I said, for under 40 bucks, guys, you can't beat it. And like I said, I have another 15 of these boxes coming, so... Fun stuff for sure. You'll probably see some more of this on the channel uh, for sure. But please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button. I know this was a long one, but I hope you guys liked it. Uh, as always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at on this Turn Back Tuesday. And we will see you next time.